you always have that hashtag, you know, East Africa to East Atlanta. So share a little bit about that concept, where it came from, what it means. Yeah, so I'm always reminding people of where I come from. Like, oftentimes you think when you get to a certain level of success, like, you're supposed to change or switch up. But for me, like, culture is so much part of who I am, and it represents me in every aspect of who I am. So I'm always telling people about Somalia, East Africa, the motherland, the immigrant, American dream, you name it, mm -hmm. honey. Mm -hmm. We're telling educating them. So it's kind of like... We're kind of between two worlds and we have we have to use our platform to connect different communities together you came to this country as an immigrant you came oh, yeah. here as a refugee and look at you today English, and second language english as a second language and you are literally you became a reporter a top reporter you know with your own segments your own features in a top 10 market in the united states i mean that does not happen overnight and that doesn't happen to everybody so how, like what can you share to other refugees or immigrants who might be tuning into this conversation right now about pushing through and and going after what you want it's just a matter of making your parents proud you know your parents made a lot of sacrifices to get you to where you are they went to a country they knew nothing about they got on a plane left everything behind so why wouldn't you want to make them proud and that's something i always kept at the back of my mind my mom and my family did so much to get us here mm -hmm. why not make them proud and do what i need to do to kind of take care of them um mm -hmm. so yeah it's the immigrant hustle you know we never stop no nope. so i don't yeah i'm just now learning to slow down nipsey hustle was a huge figure in the la community across the u.s across the world within the east african eritrean ethiopian community one of his famous quotes is the highest human act is to inspire and i know you do that day in and day mm. Aima. what can you say just about you know that that quote in terms of how you live it and maybe even just words on the impacts of like his legacy it really empowered so many young artists so many people in minority communities and international communities to make sure that as they continue on their purposeful path that they're also leaving a legacy mm -hmm. um and that was a huge teaching moment where you know it's not so much about the art you leave behind it's also about the legacy the art can be part of your legacy but there's mm -hmm. so much more that could be done for our communities um so it kind of woke us up to inspire the young generation means to let them know that there's a way when they don't always know that there could be a way and so yeah we do want to just send our love and our thoughts to his family his friends the community any person in the world who is thinking about him today and we know that his legacy lives on in all of us this is what it's all about but naima we are so grateful for you what are some encouraging words you can share um, during this time it's okay not to do anything it's okay not to write that bestseller book. It's okay not to write that great screenplay. It's okay to just be in the moment and really take in what's happening because it's so mentally draining for so many people across the world. It just depends where you are. Um, if you don't feel like you're there yet to do something with this time, you don't have to. Um, but if you feel like you are there to balance everything, working from home, family, um, informing your community and also do passion projects, you can also do that as well. Take advantage of this time to spend time with your family, with your loved ones, with your children. Check in on people, even though you're not seeing people every single day, you should call them, hit them up, check on people who are sick, um, call them, even though you can't see them face to face, you should still make sure that everyone in your life is good because some people are in complete isolation. Um, so make sure you're checking in on each other, calling, FaceTiming, doing what you have to do to make sure that everybody gets through this process together.